sorry um i cut the the, the the movie so i have to try to put it together um i hope i didn't cut the first part my goodness um so what happened um is that you know um, they shut down africa from the whole world you can't pack your things and send things to africa without paying 300 400 dollars Containers, everything is everything is expensive only for the elites. Why? They wanted to separate Africa from the whole world. The biggest continent on this earth, by the way. The most powerful continent by the world in the world, by the way. So if you go to Africa and you start saying, Man, do you know that Tanzania? Do you know that we can make Africa better? Do you know that um you know, do you know Mbanzan Congo? Do you know Kimpavita, Kimbango, Simon Toko? They will become crazy. They will be like, where you come from the United States? You come from Europe? Uh, you come from Russia and you want to tell us about those people? How do you know those people? They will become crazy. If you tell them, yeah, I'm going to Angola to find me five girls. Yeah. I can tell you where. I can tell you the biggest bars, the biggest clubs. Uh, I can give you contacts to have ritual things, you know. But if you tell them that you, you want to change something in the country, you want to change something for our people, they will be like, what? So the world fight, it's also in the land. Look at Southern Africa and the, you know, the traditional dances. Naked women's breasts out. Hey, sorry. Sorry. We are traditional people. But the time. It's like if someone says to me, comes with me, the law, the law, the law, this most high nice law. If you steal, I will cut your hands off. If you are a war, I will stone you. These are the laws. Okay, for the people that used to preach the laws. But the most high goes with the time. The Mwanda is the one that is the law. The Mwanda, the spirit of the most high is the law, not the law speaking and spoken by words or by ancient prophets that are no, no more here. The time has changed. The things changed. So the law that we are speaking about is the Mwanda that gives the law timing. It gives you the uh, 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 uh di directions directions okay and it gives you the prophecies and truth for this time where you are in and not that what you're coming to when Isaiah wanted to preach on on or hear people on on on, on saturdays they came with no you can't preach and you can't do anything on this day because it's forbidden moses didn't allow who is moses man the wonder is here shut the up man the one that is here don't come with you blah 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 because if i follow you this person will die if i follow you nothing will change and this is the mentality this is the mentality the hard naked and stiff naked mentality that it killed our forefathers and still now is killing us. Still now we do not want to understand that there is only one father, one creator. Yeah, there is only one law. Love your neighbor like you used to love yourself. And there is only one secret and the place of secret. It's in the Congo. Sorry. If I see those traditional dances, that's why you see a lot of HIV, a lot of uh, sexual immorality all over Africa, especially like Southern Africa or whatever. It, it's horrible there. Okay? You can have sexual safaris there like crazy. And the people will accept. Or Nigeria, whatever. Crazy. They even they're open. They're open to everything. If it comes to uh, Zionists and crazy things, African taboos, Nigeria. <laughs> They are open for everything. The Zionists in, 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 in Ghana. 
Now, wait a minute. Is this the place where we go? Is this the place where to the time we want to bring some changes? You have witches in certain places that we have to clean up. You have places it's untouchable, my brothers and sisters. Do you know that? You can't touch certain places in Africa. If not, you will disappear. Not even the white people, because gods of gods sit in there. This world is miraculous. Gods and gods sit in certain places you can't touch. But the Tanzani want to break the seals. He want to change our people. Brothers and sisters, I tell you, after the sisters calling the brothers to tell them how can we come to Angola, these brothers were, oh, oh, they, 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 they answered like, why do you want to go to Angola? What do you want to do there? The, gov the government itself, the consulate, what do you want to do there? Do you know Angola? Do you know Congo? What do you want to do there? Do you want to live there? No. Is it your problem where I want to go? Is it your problem if I want to change something? Is it your problem if I want to live there? Because the same people working for the government and say, no. Our work is now to deceive. It's like we do not want anyone to come down. We do not want to help our people. We have already money. We have already everything what you want. And the most of them, even in the land, the white ones, they are married to, the white ones are married to blacks. And, you know, the blacks to whites. Here, they're, they're always white and black together. And working hands in hands with the government by deceiving people not to come to Africa. And if you are in Africa, not to do something for the people, but to do something for yourself or for the people in the West. Fish, food, Every kind of mineral, plastics, everything goes out. It doesn't stay in the land. Our, how can it be that our people suffer hunger if the most of the production comes from Africa? From food, water, everything, oil, it comes from Africa. There's nothing that you do with your computer, cell phone. Uh, you know, I'm here, look at this. You know, the wood, the stones here. Where does it come from? Marble and all this, zinc. Where does this kinds of things come from? All the metals. How can it come that it comes here? How much did these people pay for all those things that you see here? All the gold that you see in the Vatican and all these kinds of things. All the diamonds. How much did they pay? You see? So it's crazy. But it's getting hot in here. Brothers and sisters. It's getting hot in here. And that's why you see it is a spiritual war. It is a spiritual war. And to find, not Ogun, Mogun, Shogun, or all the gods in Africa, whatever. You see people calling themselves kings or queens or whatever, saying that they have spirit of man and woman inside of their bodies. And this used to be the Congo spirit or whatever. No, this is not the Congo spirit. Sorry. We, in Africa, let me tell you the truth. We came from Egypt. Hmm? We came from Egypt. Some people also talk, say that we came from the West and some people went up. The Babylonian used to be there in the place of Congo and it started there. Some people have also these stories. But if you see the customs, like in Western part of Africa, uh, Lomé, Togo, uh, um, the um, Togo or the people in, in, in Sudan and whatever here um, used, you know, also North Africa, but also where this is where they used to do a lot of voodoo. You know, if you see this customs, you will find something. You will find something. You the thing that you will see is that they have the ancient traditions of the Hebrews. That's why you see me sometimes going radical against people that used to preach too much about the laws. I mean, the laws are there. The Ten Commandments, you have to hold it. There are even much more laws than this. Because the people that preach the laws, they do not even know the laws because the laws come from the Spirit. The law is the Most High Himself. If you have the Most High inside of you, who can be against you, while well, you will keep the law automatically. You are the living law. 
Okay? But what is happening? You will see a lot of traditions and customs. I know people that even uh, was here in this channel. People like from Ghana. Huh? Today, where are they today? People that used to preach in Nigeria and all of them. They all back would say, oh, we are, we are Egyptians. We are Egyptians. No, we came from Egypt. We go to Ogun. We go to our ancestors. It's okay to go up to our ancestors. All is, it's everything okay. But why do the same ancestors that these people go to, hmm? why do the same ancestors that these people go to, uh, why do we see white and, and black magic inside of these customs? Why do we see, uh, even if they go back to their traditions, why do you see darkness, like evil, evil things inside of these kinds of spirituality? A man, a woman saying, I do not want to marry because I am a man and a woman. What's going on? You see? So you have this tradition from the Hamites. The Hamites and the Shemites, they live in the same, in the same place. And they are mixed like crazy. And the customs are mixed like crazy. Especially in this time here, where people say you're all African. You're all Caribbean. You're all American or African-American or whatever. So this is like it is. You will never know who is who. You will never know uh, who has the sign of the Most High, who has the sign of the Beast. You will never know uh, who is from the Most High, who is from Angola, who is from Congo, who is from Tanzania, who is from, you know. We are mixed. And normally it doesn't also care. But if you go deeper, you will find something out. You will find something out that the most of the people that used to do this, you know, going back to the ancestors, whatever, no one of them is working on building the tabernacle of Dawidi. The most of them are working on the same thing why we fall. They want to go to a spirituality or something back to fight something that is even bigger than them. Satan itself is what he, Satan is a black guy, isn't it? Is Satan not one of us? Hmm? Do we go, do, should we go to the Satan's characteristics? You will find them all over Africa. Okay? Why does he hate uh, African black people so much? Do you know Satan's characteristics? Hmm? So, what is going on here? Um... That's why the Tanzanbe say, the difference that I will bring, I will make everything new. I will make everything new. The same people that wants to help, the same people, black people, Satanist people are there that wants to destroy. No one wants to help us to rebuild the kingdom. No one wants to help us to change something in this world. It's not about like I'm going back to my traditions and I show my nakedness, dancing there, rituals, sex rituals. And the most bad thing is lack of knowledge. They deny the prophets. They deny the prophets from today. Go to the people, to black people. Come on. Just, just, just don't go too far. Just go to your neighbors. Tell them, do you know the most high that on zombie? The most high? I have my barbecue here, my soldiers, my swine. I have here my 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 my, my women's my my hip hop. They look what is happening today, but what will come tomorrow? They don't care. They don't care. You see, and uh, the same people you can tell them, go back to your countries, and I know what the problem is in our countries. We are, the most of our, our people that fled from our countries, they have a very, very bad uh, uh, view about our countries, about our lands. Because of the negativity that was brought to slavery to our countries. The people are maybe 80 years back from the, from, from, from the knowledge, but no one will clean your house Beside yourself, you have to do it by yourself. You see, and especially in these times, 
where the Muzungus want to occupy. They want to occupy again, to colonize again what is yours. And you don't think that if they colonize Africa, the year in Europe or whatever where you are, that you will become free, that you will live free because you are already in a slave in those countries. But what will happen later? If they don't have the materials, if they don't have the, um, if they don't have the things, the minerals and food and whatever, what they need, you will be the first one that they will eat. Okay, it's always about the black man. You will be the first one that will kill. Watch, look the videos, look the movies, look what the history teaches. Hmm? Not the Chinese, not the Turkish. You will be the first that will be killed. So you have no place to run. Especially these people in the Caribbeans and all those kinds of places. They must wake up. And this is one of the problems that we have. If our people goes back and talk like, tell to the government, hey, I want to go back to Africa, whatever. I want to change something in Ghana. I want to... This guy is a Freemason. Yeah. You do not have, oh, you do not have tens makofulis there. You have very dangerous presidents there. They're like, what do you want here? You want to change something in this country? Sometimes it's better to not say anything, just working and not say anything. Because even the people in the land, they will be surprised if you're calling names like Kimbangu, Simon Toko, pastors, families, they will be like, what? Who is this? Because the spirit of the devil still today is fighting us in, in Africa. It needs mighty people, prophets, to deliver our people from bondage in Africa. Not only in the diaspora. Don't think you go to Africa and you, you came there, Mike, I'm, a, I'm American, blah, 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 I can do whatever. No. There is a spirit in Africa. <laughs> there is a spirit in Africa. Huh? You must be very strong to take it out, to change it. And this is where our people must unite that come from the diaspora. And not in any kind of spirit. But in the divine power of the Most High, the Tanzania Mazulu. To talk to each other, to communicate. Like a government, like political, politician people. <laughs> like politicians. Hmm? Like spiritual people. Hmm? Like family. Sitting down. Where are you? In Tanzania? Look, this is what I sell. This is what I have here. You know? What this the same assembly everywhere teaching the same things everywhere, opening spiritual schools, schools about history, etc. Everywhere teaching our people revolution. Who, do you know this guy? Do you know this white people? They're here, they want to inherit us. Do you know that black people fear white people? Do you know that black people fear Chinese? Black people would do bad things to themselves, but fear someone that looks different than them, automatically. They would, they used to support other nations. Huh? You go to their stores, buying them, you buy even clothing. Okay, this is Nike, yeah? But Nike is not from a black person. Versace, uh, Yoshi Yamamoto, uh, you have uh, um, um, Yakenzo, uh, Michael Kors. You wear names from pedophiles. Okay, I have to go to work. I have to work. Because, um, yeah, I have to work. Um, five more minutes. You know, which means that we really believe that we can change the world, our position, if we become like those people. Or if we accept or tolerate or take 1% of some, those people, what they, those people did. But the Tanzanbe say you have to change completely. You have to came with, come with everything that comes from you and will be revealed to the wonder. 
our people do not fight for our countries. Our people do not fight for themselves. They support the nations. They want to enrich themselves. We have very rich people in Africa, my goodness. Very arrogant people. Very rich people. They cannot even, they cannot even build streets in the city. No infrastructure. Zero. No food. You see children. No hospitals. Huh? Only there where the white people are. You find standards, nice standards. Black people working for them in the streets, cleaning up their houses. Mm. You see? And if you start telling them, do you not see what I see? Do you not see that we are living in poverty like a, in our own countries we are slaves? If you tell them, they won't understand anything. Who will understand? Who will change these kinds of things? Did the most I lose this fight? Hmm? You see? Sitting on YouTube, blah, 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 blah. There is a fight going on. There is a real fight going on. Did you ever hear a black rich man like Gaddafi coming in? Do you know that Gaddafi wanted to be the king of uh, Africa? Hmm? Do you want to know that he was the richest man on earth? Do you know what Africa means? To inherit Africa. You come with money and boom, He paid all the president's bills. All the president's bills in Africa. Kabila, in Southern Africa, whatever. He paid it so that they could make it. He was a revolutionist. Even if uh, uh, he came with his uh, esoteric... Uh, committee, whatever. This is what I mean. Now, look at this man if he would have the most high behind him. You see? If you really have money, like do, you, you, a, a millionaire, like Dos Santos in Angola, the, 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 uh, the, the, the richest woman on earth, uh, the richest African woman, the, or the richest black woman, hmm? if he, she would really try to to, to, to to bring the Most High's kingdom back. The Most High's first. Not your kamatic experience, I'm a gay, whatever, I used to love white and Chinese and all kumbaya. The Most High first. Understand the Most High first. If you are Egyptian or if you are whatever, go to your things, but you, we know that nothing will come out of it. We know we are we are waiting for we are waiting all the, our lives for those kinds of things, receiving tons of money from the governments here from 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 Europe, putting it into their pockets. Look at this Rwanda guy Kagame. More corruption. Do we need more corruption like that? Fighting their own brothers, taking from them. Hmm? Look at what's happening in Nigeria. Huh? Separating three groups. The Edo is separating the people from the Yoruba, separating the, 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 the Igbo. Huh? The government and fight with Muslims and what and this is also another thing. They didn't only the African is not only separated by nations and also tribes. Hmm? It is also <clears throat> It is also separated with by um, um, a religion. Hey, it's almost impossible to, you know, to tell our people the truth. Same people, and that's why Tatan Zambi had the plan. Let me share it. I have only 10 uh, percent of our of, of battery. Do you see all the people that think that the Tanzambi is not working also with people that are Gentiles? Those people have no, no idea. He's using everyone in Africa, even people that we used to call Egyptians. He's using Hamites, he's using religious people as well. He's using people from everywhere to change Africa. 
And this is where our hope comes. Our hope comes with the Most High. In all this chaos, the Most High will win. He has in all this chaos, He has His children. He, his mighty power is in the midst of us. Mikael the Archangel, with his mighty sword, is leading the awakening. And Tatanzambi Amazulu will bring a change, and light is about to come out of darkness. A light, a fire from the phoenix that no one can put water into it. And people will see that the Most High is unique. The three corners will unite like it was before, so that the kings of all Africa, maybe all over the world, can come again to worship the Most High in his on his mountain. Just to tell you the truth. Don't stop fighting. Don't stop believing. In all this chaos, in all these things that we have forgotten, in all this, uh, how can I explain? You know, lack of knowledge and all these lies that we are into, hate. There's still hope. There's still hope. There's still hope. Gather our brothers and sisters from the four corners of the earth. Tell them who we are. Everything has begun in the Congo. Everything will end in the Congo. I will tell you the truth, brothers and sisters. The Spirit of the Most High is not everywhere. And the Most High will prove it. Because people used to talk too much. We went to churches, blah, 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 blah. We saw people doing miracles, blah, 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 blah. blah. No doubt. No doubt. The key, the source, Nzete, and the stone that the Most High put the foundation in, it's in Congo. And no one will take it away from there. And if we start understanding what the Most High really wants to us to do, wants us to learn, to know, to bring again into this world, we will become almighty. Believe me, my brothers and sisters. We need the right people in the right place. Don't fight them by going Black Lives Matter protest, whatever. A righteous prayer can even move mountains. We are soldiers. We are the Most High's army. If we do not do, no other will do. Don't believe that some things will come from the space to do your job. And brothers and sisters, they shutting down everything. If you we continue like this, you will find our people in the concentration camps. You will find our people more than ever in, in, into jail and they will overtake our countries. Do you know why they, they shut down the churches? People are like, oh, now the churches will, all the churches will, will disappear. Judgment on the churches, of course. Because like I said, that what they used to say is spirituality. No one opened the door, the key, so that people can make it into heaven. They can tell you about how to make money, how to have more women, whatever. But one thing they missed, salvation. And in another way also, they shut down the churches. Why? The people are not praying no more. They stop believing that Tatanzambi is all powerful. What means that? What means that? 
they can do now all the rituals that they want to do. They can do all the things that they want to do with this pandemic and whatever. No one is pre praying. No one is fasting. Let us not give up. Let us do that what the Most High wants from us. If you would know what I believe, eh? if you would know what I believe, yeah? I believe in things, you know, because I have seen it. My mother, she died when she wanted to become my, 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 my uh, she was in coma, my sister. She told me she was in the place. Uh, People want to tell me if they drive a Benz, they have everything. There are things that go beyond your, 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 your fantasies. You can see it in movies. Zombies have hidden so many things from us. If you would know what I believe. Do you know that I believe things? That's why I am emotional and through my emotion I can do everything. But I'm alone. How long? The zombie is preparing and everything what he have prophesied will happen. Don't force yourself for nothing. Everything has its place and it will come true. Don't force yourself. If something is not going true now, it will happen later. Believe in what you do. Prepare yourself. Share the message. Try not to be the last in the kingdom, but the first. And write, let your name with, write, be written in the book of life. Let the angels heal your family, help your, your family. Let them dance for you. Inketa. Let me go to work.